Welcome to Consumer Times. In this episode, we will explore the Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Points. HACCP is a systematic and preventive approach to ensure food safety. It addresses potential hazards by analyzing and controlling biological, chemical, and physical risks throughout the food production chain. From raw material procurement and handling to manufacturing, distribution, and consumption, HACCP ensures that every step is carefully monitored to reduce contamination and ensure safe food for consumers. This proactive strategy focuses not only on end product testing but also on controlling risks during every phase of the production process. HACCP is recognized worldwide as a fundamental standard for food safety management. Developed in the 1960s for NASA to produce safe foods for astronauts, it has since evolved into a framework applicable to various sectors of the food industry. This management system plays a crucial role in preventing foodborne illnesses and ensuring public health. Before we dive into the main subject, please like, share, give your valuable feedback and do not forget to subscribe our channel to motivate us. Key components of HACCP are the HACCP system revolves around hazard analysis and the identification of critical control points. CCPs. These components form the backbone of the framework by establishing specific measures to control potential risks. Below are the key elements and principles that define HACCP. A hazard is any biological, chemical, or physical agent that could potentially cause harm to consumers if not controlled. In HACCP, a thorough hazard analysis identifies these risks at every stage of food production. Biological hazards, include bacteria, viruses, molds, parasites, and toxins that can cause foodborne illnesses. Examples include salmonella, E. coli, and listeria. Chemical hazards include cleaning agents, pesticide, heavy metals, food allergens, and harmful additives. Even natural toxins, such as those found in certain plants, are considered chemical hazards. Physical hazards include foreign objects such as metal fragments, glass shards, or plastic pieces that may accidentally enter the food during processing or packaging. By identifying these hazards early, food manufacturers can develop controls to minimize risks effectively. Critical control points, CCPs, a CCP is a point, step, or procedure in the food production process where control can be applied to prevent, eliminate, or reduce a food safety hazard to an acceptable level. Examples include cooking, chilling, and packaging processes. Identifying C circa P's is essential to ensure that hazards are addressed before they can affect the final product. Each CCP must have clearly defined critical limits, measurable criteria such as temperature, time, pH level, or moisture content. If these limits are exceeded, the product could become unsafe. For example, Cooking meat to an internal temperature of 75 degrees Celsius ensures that harmful bacteria are destroyed. To ensure that the C. circa P's are under control, monitoring procedures must be established. Continuous or periodic checks at each critical point are essential to verify that the process remains within the defined limits. These monitoring activities can involve recording temperatures, inspecting seals on packages, or visually checking for foreign particles. If a CCP exceeds its critical limits, corrective actions must be taken immediately to address the issue. These actions prevent contaminated food from reaching consumers. For example, if refrigeration temperatures rise above the safe threshold, the affected food may need to be discarded, and the equipment repaired before production resumes. Verification ensures that the HACCP system is functioning correctly and consistently. Regular reviews, audits, and testing help confirm that the controls are effective. Verification also ensures compliance with regulatory standards, customer requirements, and internal policies. Proper documentation is a critical part of HACCP records of hazard analyses, CCP monitoring, corrective actions, and verification activities provide evidence of compliance. These records are essential for traceability, regulatory audits, and internal evaluations. HACCP principles are applied at every stage of the food supply chain, from raw material procurement to the final delivery of the product. 
Below is an overview of how HACCP works in different stages. The HACCP process begins with sourcing raw materials. Suppliers must be assessed for potential hazards. For example, contaminated water or pesticide residues in fruits and vegetables are considered chemical hazards. Suppliers may also need to follow good agricultural practices, GAP, to reduce risks, in production facilities, biological hazards such as bacteria can thrive if sanitation measures are inadequate. Workers must follow hygiene protocols, including proper hand washing and the use of gloves and hairnets. Raw materials must be stored and handled under appropriate conditions to avoid spoilage. During manufacturing, see circa peas like cooking or pasteurization must be carefully controlled. Critical limits for time and temperature must be adhered to. For instance, milk must be pasteurized at 72 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds to eliminate pathogens like listeria and salmonella. The use of food-grade equipment and utensils is essential to avoid physical contamination. Packaging plays a crucial role in preventing contamination during storage and distribution. Properly sealed packaging prevents physical hazards like dust or insects from entering. Modified atmosphere packaging, MAP, may be used to inhibit microbial growth by altering the oxygen content. During transportation and distribution, maintaining the cold chain is critical for perishable products such as dairy and meat. Trucks and storage units must be monitored to ensure that temperatures remain within safe limits. If the cold chain is interrupted, biological hazards may develop. HACCP also extends to the consumer level. Food labels provide important safety information, such as expiration dates and storage instructions. Consumers must follow these guidelines to ensure food safety, such as refrigerating products after opening or cooking foods to the recommended temperature. By identifying and controlling hazards throughout the food production process, HACCP reduces the risk of foodborne illnesses. This proactive approach ensures that issues are addressed before they can affect the consumer. HACCP is often mandatory for food businesses in many countries. Regulatory bodies such as the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India, FSSAI, require companies to implement HACCP as part of their food safety management practices. Food manufacturers that adopt HACCP can build trust with consumers by demonstrating their commitment to safety. Certification ensures that products meet international food safety standards, increasing market competitiveness, HACCP helps prevent contamination, reducing the need for costly recalls and minimizing food wastage. Efficient monitoring ensures that any issues are addressed promptly, preventing further damage. HACCP is widely recognized by organizations like the World Health Organization, WHO, and the Codex Element Areas Commission. It facilitates international trade by ensuring that products meet global food safety standards. Implementing HACCP requires specialized knowledge and training for staff. Workers must be aware of hazards, critical control points, and monitoring procedures. Small-scale businesses may face challenges due to the financial and resource investments needed to establish and maintain a HACCP system. HACCP is a vital tool for ensuring food safety by addressing biological, chemical, and physical hazards across the entire food supply chain. Its systematic approach ensures that risks are identified and controlled at every stage, from raw material procurement to the consumption of finished products. While the implementation of HACCP requires training, resources, and continuous monitoring, its benefits far outweigh the challenges. It helps reduce foodborne illnesses, ensures regulatory compliance, and enhances consumer trust. In an increasingly interconnected global food system, HACCP plays a critical role in safeguarding public health and promoting sustainable food safety practices. Thank you for watching. If you found this information useful, please like, share, and subscribe to Consumer Times. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for updates on our latest videos. Stay healthy and stay informed.